got a exercise bike and the chain is making some noise. Closer inspection revealed it's pretty gunky and had some animal hair and stuff like that on it. So I'm actually gonna pull the chain off, clean it off real well, reinstall it, and then get it lubed up so that it doesn't make the same noise that it does right now. Let's get started. All right, you've got four screws in these locations on this side. Need a standard Phillips head screwdriver or drill bit. Now, I will tell you, you'll want to have a magnetic drill bit. It makes getting these screws out of the holes a lot easier. So make sure your bit is magnetic and carefully unscrew these. You'll feel the plastic cover on the other side loosen up as you get the last screw off. You've got two screws on this side, one behind this rubber piece and another one just open right there. Need to pop off that rubber piece. I just use my fingernail and this is where the magnetic drill bit is really important because if you don't have one that screw will fall down into this uh, chamber here and it is really hard to get back out. I am speaking from experience. Pull off the plastic shroud. Uh, you have to kind of work it around that pedal uh, to make sure that it is uh, that it comes loose. And then you have two screws, one on top and one on bottom of this uh, end piece that basically covers that back uh, the back spokes there. And that comes off really easily. So then these uh, tension adjusters here, loosen those, and then the next thing you're going to do is loosen the main bolt that holds, uh, or the main nuts that hold that uh, that big heavy wheel in place. And then you're just gonna work the chain off uh, because you've got, you've been able to loosen, once, it, once those big bolts are loosened, uh, the chain should just ride right off of there. And it is, if it's been on there for a little bit, it may be really greasy. My hands get really nasty at this point. Um, the, the wheel, like I said, is very heavy. Uh, it may be nice to have some help if you're doing it this uh, by yourself, it can be difficult, but you just kind of pull it off, support it there, have my leg under it there, just kind of hold it up, and you just kind of pull the chain out from around it. There's my hands. Uh, to put it back on, basically the same thing. Uh, between that last clip and this one, I took a uh, paper towel, cleaned the chain off as well as I could. Uh, I didn't have any cleaner uh, to use to clean it. So I just kind of wiped it off as best I could just to get all the hair and gunk off of it. Uh, start with the back spokes there, get the chain in, and then uh, again, the wheel is heavy. You just kind of lift it up into place and get those two bolts on either side into the slots. Uh, before you do this step, before you put the chain on, Go ahead and get those tension pieces, the little the smaller bolts that shoot off the back. Go ahead and get those into place because it, it can be really hard to get those into place after the chain is on. Uh, I did not do that and had a lot of trouble getting them on uh, after the fact. So uh, learn from my mistakes. I finally got it in place. You adjust those, kind of tighten it just tight enough. Uh, then you're going to tighten the tensioner until it is all the way tight, all the way down. And that's going to put some tension on the wheel and put some tension on the chain so that you can uh, make sure the wheel is centered, make sure the chain is uh, tight enough before you snug everything back up. I use my fingers there to just kind of hold them on either side of that wheel to make sure that it is uh, centered with the body of the bike. Uh, and then I just kind of snug up uh, each one of these bolts. Um, and then here you're testing the chain and whatever point 
around the circumference of that petal it's tightest you want to keep it there and then tighten everything up um, you may have to back off to, to get the right tension on the chain I'm sure there's other videos of people who know a lot more about that than I do um, to make sure the tension is you know the tension on the chain is just right I when I did this mine was actually too tight and so I had to loosen it after this video uh, to make sure that it was not overly tight because actually the noise of the chain uh, ended up being the same until I loosened it um, and then it uh, it was a lot better after that thanks for watching the video if this helped out don't forget to hit that subscribe button like the video that really helps me uh, I'll leave some links in the uh, description below uh, to some of the products that I used uh, if you have one of these bikes and you have any tips and tricks that might help me uh, leave them in the comments below I'd be glad to hear about them have a great day